Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 21st of April 2012. A strange object obscured the sun for a short time this morning. But before we find out what that is, let's deal with our trivia question. How many UFO sightings are reported on average worldwide every hour? 2? 20? 200? 2000? The answer will be given at the end. I've taken an image of this object in front of an SDO 171 angstrom image. You can see it here in the bottom right. It's obviously a dark sphere of some sort. It could be the moon, a UFO, or Nibiru. How would we determine what it is? First of all, I've magnified the image to see what the shape of the object is, and you can clearly see mountains and valleys on the edge of the limb. So this is a big object. Here's a sequence of several images showing the progression of this object across the front of the sun. It first became visible, silhouetted against the bright corona in the background here, at about 0721 uh, this morning. By 0725 it was impinging on the full disk of the sun. A few minutes later it was yet further onto the disk. By 739 it was at its maximum extent on the disk. By 746 it was exiting off the south limb of uh, the sun. By 749 it was all but gone. Now this time is very close to New Moon, so let's go and check what the timing of New Moon uh, is from one of the ephemerae online. And as we pan into today's date, we can see that the time of New Moon was 0718. Now that's close to the time that we saw this object, but it was 10 minutes out, so that's a bit strange. So if it was the Moon getting in the way of the Sun, then there should have been a partial solar eclipse forecast. So let's go take a look at the NASA eclipse site and see what that has to say. For 2012, the first eclipse is in May of this year. It is an annular eclipse that will be seen from the Western United States, across the Pacific Ocean and Eastern Asia. There is no mention of any eclipse on the 21st of April. So that seems a bit strange. So it can't be the moon, can it? But wait. These eclipse tables are calculated for the surface of the Earth. But we're observing this eclipse from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. SDO is in a geosynchronous orbit, which means it's about 22,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. So it's altogether possible for it to be in the shadow of the Moon, while the shadow of the Moon misses the Earth. And that is precisely what is happening here. So no, this is not a, a, another example of Nibiru, or a UFO passing between us and the Sun. It's just the plain old Moon doing its usual thing of orbiting the Earth and occasionally getting in the way. In the meantime, the Sun has been relatively active. It's produced a series of sea flares uh, over the last few days. But much to my great surprise, it's not produced any major flares. And I was expecting some M flares, and maybe even an X flare from this, these regions. When you look at the uh, regions on the disk currently, they're all very large and very dynamic and growing quite rapidly. So one would expect any one of them to be producing major flares and the mystery is why none of them are. And meanwhile, geospace is relatively quiet too, with the KP index hovering around about 1, and the auroral arc being uh, relatively passive, with weak uh, aurora at fairly high latitudes. I have a heads up for you on the 25th of April. PBS is airing an edition of NOVA called The Secrets of the Sun, that should be worth looking at. The... Uh, answer to the trivia question is 200. We get about 200 reports of UFOs every hour from around the world. That seemed to be a remarkably large number to me. So that's it for today. Um, keep safe. Bye for now.